Hello, it's Kelly Marie here with another Lawn Clippings video from Lawn Fawn. Today we're going to be making this really fun baby card from start to finish. So let's go ahead and get stamping. Right here, I'm stamping out the Polaroid from the Say Cheese stamp set. Um, I'm just inking it up really well, and we're gonna go ahead, you're gonna see I'm gonna stamp it once. This is gonna be our main Polaroid, and then I'm gonna stamp it again with whatever ink is left on it, and that's gonna be our guide for creating the center portion. So you'll see right here with whatever ink is on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp it out, and this is gonna be our guide, and you'll see us cut it out later. You'll hear putters growling a little in the background there. So right now we're gonna go ahead and stamp out the pine tree from Critters in the Forest. I decided to go ahead and stamp everything out. That way I can just color everything at once. So I have my three trees and now my stork from the plus one stamp set. And we're gonna do some super fast Copic coloring. So what I'm doing here is layering four different shades of green on top of each other. And especially with trees, I just like to play around with it because the more, you add to it the more texture there is and the cooler they look. So all of my trees I just kind of played around with and did some different greens and different types of layering. And you can see how fun those look there. And now I'm going to go ahead and color the stork orange and then I'm matching some of that bright side paper there, that fun coral with this. Um, you know, I was kind of bringing it up closer so I could see it. And then at the end I'm going to be using my little colorless blender to take some color away to add some texture there on the little stork bundle. So now you're gonna see me cut out, like we talked about before, this little place where we're gonna create our scene. And I'm leaving a border around the square so that we'll be able to glue it down later, which we'll see later. So it makes it a lot easier to do. And then right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the middle out of the main, main Polaroid. This is a technique that Tiffany from our design team taught me, but I didn't have sharp enough scissors. So normally you'd be able to cut it through and it makes cutting it easier. But uh, then since those scissors weren't sharp enough, uh, or I didn't press down hard enough, I just kind of poked them through and cut them out. An X-Acto knife would work really well for this too. So right now I have all of my little pieces for creating my scene. So now we're going to add some distress inks to this Polaroid. This is some antique linen and we're just adding that on to get that cool aged Polaroid look. It really gives it a little something versus leaving it just plain white. And now I have my center square here, and I'm gonna add some tumbled glass and broken china. I like using this little sponge dauber for sky because it creates circular motions and it really looks like this flowy, beautiful blue sky. So I just like doing this, and I just think distress inks are so fun. I love layering and creating cool skies for scenes for all of my critters. <laughs> so now just having my blues on there, and I'm finally happy with it, so I'm all done with this part. And then we can go ahead and start assembling this whole card. So now I've got my fun little blue sky, and I'm going to start layering my trees and my stork on here. Now you'll see with my stork that I didn't um, cut out his little legs, because those are hard for me to cut out. So I just like stamping the stork again later, and then I'll cover it, uh, the rest of the stork up with the cutout stork, and then have the little legs on there left over. I'm stamping the stork a little bit off of the square because that gives it some fun movement. With having a little bit of the wings kind of hanging off is showing that the stork is really moving fast through the scene and I, I just think it looks really cute that way. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and use some regular old tape runner to position my trees in kind of a staggered fashion. That way it looks like this kind of cool forest that the stork is going under, or over, excuse me. I just love creating fun little scenes like this and kind of imagining this fun, cute little cartoon. So now I've got all of my trees down and I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them off. I colored it a little too much, but I really didn't know exactly how tall I wanted my trees to be in the Polaroid. So I figured it was better safe than sorry to you know, kind of color some more in and then it's easy to just trim it off. With the stork, I put some rolled up glue dots on there and that gives it a little bit of dimension, but not as much as foam adhesive since we're gonna have to layer the frame over, but I like the little dimension on the stork. It really makes it look like he's flying through. So right now, I'm gonna take some glue and run it along the edge of the open square here on all four sides. And I really like using liquid glue for this because that way I can move the frame around and get it perfectly placed. And it's, you know, I have a little bit of time before it dries, which I think really helps, because if not, I know I would just place it on there incorrectly. So I like liquid, I've been using a lot of liquid glue more often. I like the forgiveness of it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and because we left that extra space on there, I'm able to easily line this up and glue our whole scene together. So now I'm taking the On The Way sentiment from the Plus One set. I think this is such a fun sentiment for this card, especially with the fun scene that is in this little Polaroid. 
And now we're going to start creating the card base. The card base is three and a half inches wide by five inches tall. I really like this size for the different Polaroid scenes. And I'm using some of the bright side paper and just layering that on as a cute little background. And then I put some foam adhesive down on my Polaroid and I'm just going to pop it up. I think it adds a little something special to the card to have the Polaroid popped up on this cute little pattern paper background. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to paste it, you know, as much in the center as possible. And then on the bottom here, I've got a little wooden button from my stash and then some of the lawn trimmings natural cord. And we're going to go ahead and tie this around and also thread the button. When I thread buttons, I really like using this hemp cord because it's a little bit thicker and it really fills the button up. It has kind of a presence to it. But I don't like tying knots in the background because then it kind of pops up too much off the card. So what I like to do is take a glue dot and stick it right on the button. And then I just take the little ends that are left over from my cord and stick it right into the glue dot. And that works perfectly for holding it and you don't get that extra bulk of a knot. Also, I have fumbly fingers and I, I'm never very good at tying knots. <laughs> so right here, I'm going ahead and I'm gonna tie the twine around the card three times and then tie a little knot and just trim off the edges. And then I'm gonna stick a glue dot underneath this knot because the button's gonna hide it and I wanna make sure that my twine doesn't fall off the card. So I thought a glue dot would kinda of hold it in place and no one will ever see it since the button's gonna cover it up. I added a glue dot to that button and then glued that over the twine and it looks like it was all tied together. I really like that. I like faking that look. So here is the finished card. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.